When it's time to choose your wedding bands, there are gonna be loads of considerations and choices that you can make. So what we're gonna do in this video is basically have a look through some of those and try and help you with a bit of information. We're going to cover width, profile, uh, whether it's plain or diamond set, what metal type you use, finger sizing and production time. So first what we're going to look at is width. Now, as a general rule of thumb, it's kind of nice to match the engagement ring and the wedding band together. So if the engagement ring has a constant width, that's easy. However, some engagement rings will have a taper. Basically, the width will get thinner towards the diamond setting. Now on this occasion, what you'll try to do is match with the three and nine o'clock positions on the engagement ring for width, which gives quite a nice aesthetic. So for example, we end up with something like this. Sometimes customers try to go for a slightly wider style because that's the designs that they like, and that's absolutely fine certainly something that we can do. One consideration is any future purchases, so for example, eternity rings, can start to add up in the overall width on the finger and look maybe a little bit clunky, but we can advise on this and we can look at designs on site. Secondly, let's have a look at profile. Now, the term profile basically describes the shape of an engagement ring or of a wedding band. For example, we have the D-shaped band, which has a very flat inner surface and then a domed outer edge. In comparison, there's the traditional quart, which has got a rounded inner edge and also a rounded outer edge, and it gives a very classic appearance. Now, generally speaking, again, you'd match the engagement ring's profile with the wedding band's profile for the nicest appearance between the two but the engagement and wedding band represent different events in your life and therefore you might choose to have a different profile for each. Another thing to consider is whether the ring is plain or diamond set. So this is an incredibly difficult question to answer because to be honest, it's entirely down to personal opinion. There are some designs which I think are gonna be better with a diamond set wedding band. For example, we have the Serena style ring with its halo setting, shoulder set, and diamonds down the leading faces of the ring as well. But you might think that a plain wedding band suits better. The advantage of a plain wedding band is that it makes the engagement ring the centerpiece, and that can be important. Sometimes plain or diamond set is not the right answer. You want a texture or an engraving detail or maybe some gemstone settings and these are all things that we can do as well. For example, we've got this ring which has got a slight texture to it. Metal is another important consideration. Gold, platinum, palladium, what do you decide to use? Well, most often people will go with the same material as the engagement ring is made of. It offers a nice aesthetic, it offers the consistent wear characteristics as well. Things like platinum, for example, are more dense and more durable than gold. So if your engagement ring is made of gold and you have a platinum wedding band, it's likely that the wedding ring will do some damage to the engagement ring over time. However, there's been a recent trend to try and mix and match colors. It's a little bit different, slightly unique, and looks really good. So you could get, for example, a white metal of engagement ring and then match it with the yellow gold of a wedding band and the contrast is quite attractive. Ring size is a fundamentally important consideration, but it isn't always as obvious as just using the same size as an existing ring, like your engagement ring, for example. There are some fundamentally important considerations. First of all is profile. Now, the profile we explained earlier is the shape of the ring. The exterior edge of a wedding band hasn't actually got any impact, but the interior profile can have an effect on how the ring feels when you fit it on. Two examples are the traditional court, which had the curved inner edge. And this, as you look onto the ring, sits just slightly off our sizing mandrel. In comparison, we have the D-shaped court which is flat on the inner surface. And this will sit flush against the sizing mandrel. 
If you pretend for a moment this is your finger, because of the change in profile, that shape will feel a little bit more tight than the traditional court before it. It's an important consideration and it's something that you'll feel a difference in. Secondly is width. Again, if we use this as an example, this is approximately six millimeters wide. When you compare it to a two millimeter wide ring, the space taken up on your finger is considerably less. And if these were the same size, the lesser width will be much more loose than the wider. Finally, there's not having worn a ring before, which is a slightly odd consideration, but if you haven't had an engagement ring or some dress jewelry, then wearing a wedding band can feel quite alien. And if you're in the process of sizing a ring, trying on rings on a finger which hasn't had jewelry before will feel more tight than it actually is. So take this into consideration, use the advice of the person that's doing the appointment and has done sizing previously, and just bear it in mind, it will be more comfortable with time and with wear. Just a quick note on that, have a look for resizing policies, and don't worry if you don't get the size right the first time. Production time is often overlooked. Generally speaking, it'll take about 15 to 20 working days to manufacture a ring. So giving yourself enough time in the early stages will mean that when you're making last minute arrangements, you're not stressing about whether wedding bands are going to arrive on time or not. Also bear in mind that resizing or adjustments to size, addition of bespoke work like engraving or a message or gemstones all needs to be taken into consideration. So allow yourself enough time to make the right decisions comfortably. To summarize, all of these points that we've covered are important considerations, but don't forget to have fun whilst you're making that choice. The question's been asked, the answer was yes, so enjoy the process of choosing your wedding bands. At Samara James, we pride ourselves on making really beautiful pieces of jewelry and would be happy to help you make your decisions. Have a look at the information beneath for some contact details, check out the website for some more styles, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.